You in video mode? Hey guys, one by <laughs> What's this, Joey? You, you pull up in a new rig. I'm an idiot. Part, well. You don't know about part one. This is part two, but. We'll just leave it at you're an idiot. <laughs> yes, we'll leave it at you're an idiot. This is my uh, dual, dual rear wheel drive, five speed, four by four. 3500 second gen Cummins 24 valve turbo diesel. Turbo diesel. And like, as long as you look at the tires on this side and you don't look that <laughs> close, she's meant. She's dual. Yes. The other side may have, you know, she might be a little low on air. Yeah. But uh, let's get the v just to prove that she's not a V10. Sorry, we got distracted. Power steering pump, slight leak. She's on about a quart a day. <laughs> so that's your standard uh, Magnum V10 right there. Yep. Cummins 24 valve turbo diesel. That's the Magnum VCU right there. Yes. So. That's the alternator. Extender. And then this is the turbo. The service boxes come with a bigger alternator for like welding rigs. That's yeah. what that is. It's the second alternator. Yeah. Some would even call it a turbo alternator. It makes weird whiny noises occasionally. <laughs> it goes something like that. Yeah. So we'll see this on the channel uh, shortly once he gets all the little nitty gritty stuff out of the way. He's trying to get. I don't know what you're doing. You There's, got a bunch of. Garbage. I gotta get. I gotta get tires for it before it's like really should be able to drive because. Yeah. And you know, six tires is. is Six tires and sizes that I don't want to buy are a little <laughs> more expensive than I want to pay for. I've only bought four sets of tires in my life for a vehicle, and it's from my Apollo. Yep, I've never bought anything else. But this is not the... Uh, this is not the video. This is not the video. That, or this, well, you we can't see it yet. we got foliage in the way. Foliage. We got... Foliage like we got a Sears on a trailer. She went to work. Yeah, we had to get the old service body Cummins here. Yep. Because. Because. Uh, well, do you wanna maybe pass the camera on? Explain uh, what happened to her. We'll see it, but she's making a little trail here. Oh, she's got her leg lifted a little bit, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Yeah. So we were using it at my dad's house. Okay, good. I got some samples to show you later. Yeah, right here. These little guys. This is like metal wire. Steel fishing line. But like fishing line. Like it's it's metal. You can bend it and it stays bent. So that's how you know it's metal. <laughs> but it's the same thickness as like fishing line here. I'm sure you guys saw it. But yeah, we'll see it better later. But anyway, that got all bound up. I got all bound up in the axle there when we were flattening in this yard. And it wasn't leaking, it dripped a couple drops and was like, yeah, I'll drip later. So I kind of ignored it and we let another work guy borrow it and he brought it back and I noticed this. She's got a snail trail she's now. She's starting to, she's got a little lake going on down there. Do we have she, Sears Lake part two? Yeah. If you guys want to like never have weeds in a certain spot again, just park your vehicle near it. Or like take it, your uh, carburetor. Also, some like cleaner juice and pour it on that weeds. In occasional spots, and then the weeds just went away. They melted away. <laughs> melted away. So, we're gonna change the axle seal on this unit. I did it on Big Sears uh, a while ago. I don't know if I filmed it or not. I might have, but this one will be a full how-to and whatnot. It's actually fairly easy. I'll show you all the part numbers. There's two seals, um, two different ones. One seals for the suburban tractor for the older the SS 14 16 suburban and there's a different seal for these the six speed bigger ones whatever so I'll show you those but uh, let's get her off the trailer and bring her I guess in front of the garage are we are we gonna do it the sketchy way or the regular way what is both of those ways well sketchy way is we don't hook up anything to this end I was just gonna drive her off. Okay. She's mint. I didn't realize what that was until I got on it and realized the trailer was gonna go beep. 
but it's already halfway there, so we'll just see what happens. It hasn't fired up in half a week, maybe a week now. Parking brake work. She's rolling coal. Good enough. shifter into go mode here come on there we go so one, once you uh step one take your step take one take the bee's nest out of here take all four lugs off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a couple in the dirt down there can't find them nine sixteenths she's on bad u-joint mode <laughs> well, fix for a minute <laughs> Overkill. This is called didn't want to bother with the ratchet mode. So this is the uh, fishing line-esque gunk. You see if you like bend it, it keeps its form. I don't know what this is or how the hell. You just pound this guy out. Little e-clip. Make sure that's pushed in. Let you get some kind of gap started. Just jam around. Usually really that's the eye catcher. Huh? <laughs> she's she's well controlled. You know, the oil helps. Oh my goodness. That looks fine. But look at all the smashed metal. Oh, yucky. That's all that freaking... That's all that wire. I just, like, smashed it. And rolled it. Yucky. It's just, like... Look at that. Oh, that's good. It made it... A lot of it didn't make it past the washer. But it did enough to... Something made it back there, yeah. Did it did enough to ruin this things. This garbage. Yeah. That's good. We'll set that back where we can run it over again. Oh yeah, there's little bits back there. Which, how's, what's the smell test? Looks good. Feels like fresh engine oil, so the oil in this is still pretty good. Epic! Put that on the dirty tire. Where's this? Oh my god! What? It's been machining the fucking axle. Oh, that's recommended. They're supposed to, yeah. That's why I was like, where's the seal? But it's that little line right here, but it's supposed to be like its own surface, I guess. I don't know how to say it. It doesn't, it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Cooked? Yeah. There's like a little... That's crazy. Great. I hope there's not like too much damage in there. Well, I just order a new rear end. <laughs> So there's a couple ways you can get them out. Um, I got big sears out. Just by a smaller screwdriver than this, also get a smaller one, and just hammering it in at a angle right here, getting that. Because this seal is pretty, pretty. Uh, I don't want to say it. It's pretty soft. Um, or you can get a pick in here the same way and kind of jam it in. But. It started to right there, but hammer isn't quite ideal, and it's apparently shedding too. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
So, well, it's oldest, oldest mallet. Yeah. I'm going to get... Yeah, see, so I already kind of got it started. I'm going to get a small screwdriver and hammer that in there and pop that thing out. I got a little screwdriver. This is my carburetor tuning screwdriver. It's got a pretty, pretty small tip on it. And it's long, which is nice. Let's put a jammer in there if you can. Get it started right there. Come on. This, like, pretty much the only hard part is trying to get this little... You can see it pushed it in over there and popped it out over here. So you just kind of got to work at it and get it. Some guys I've seen will drill a hole in the seal and just stick one of these picks in there and get it out that way. A little teeny tiny drill bit. I'm going to try it. Of course, it's going to want to walk around. I'll try it right here. Why is this seal just destroying my picks? <laughs> Apparently we're asking a bit too much of it here. Well, these are uh, 30 cents. 30 cent picks. Yeah, 30 cent picks. That doesn't help. This is kind of insane, actually, on how difficult this is being. Lots of destruction has happened. Yeah. But it's... I heard cracking noises like it was about to come out. Yeah, I watched it move. It's thinking about it. It's, uh... So I had it right here, just like you saw when we cut, and I just... One last little pop. And then auto-ejected yeah, after that. Yeah, that came out. So that is the uh, how to do it the most destructive way as possible. This is like worst case scenario. <laughs> your seal is already fucked. Oh, back there looks okay, but I'm gonna clean it out and uh, go from there. All right. So these are the two seals here. This is the one that fits this one, but this bigger. So the difference. This one is for the suburban tractors. This has the little smaller diameter. This, the tr transmission is a little bit smaller for whatever reason. Um, that's the part number. This, you, get, you can get this at Napa, 9838, the SKF 9838. And they also, the video that I saw this guy as well, um, also got one of this from Napa. It was 98, um, I'll put the part number up on screen. Um, for that but this is for the, the smaller transmissions i don't really know what year but this is for like the, the suburban tractors ss14 ss16 i believe and this one is for like the gt18 the 19.9 basically anything with a transmission that looks i don't know i thought his was the same or if yours has okay this is the way to test to um if yours has the set screws that hold the hub on it's going to be this 98381. What set screws? On Super Sears. There's a little set screws. Oh, so, so this, this doesn't this, have This it. one's splined. Oh, I see what you mean. So there's, the splines hold this on, and then the clip on the Super Sears vintage one, it has the set screws that hold the axle on. And I think there's a couple splines in it, but I noticed that the one in his video, he did, if it doesn't have any set screws in the hub, then you're going to use this... Uh, you can get this one also at Napa, but it's hard to find. Um, he said he had to order it from a special order. It, and the one here in town didn't even have this one. Um, I went to Columbia Bearing over here, um, and they had this on the shelf. They just I gave them the part number for the Napa one, and they converted it to this one, and it fit just perfect on that one, and it's been working ever since. So the part number on this one is... Where is it? There's the part number there for this one. It's 
471224. And I'm pretty sure you can put that number into Google. You can order these on Amazon. Um, I found them on Amazon as well. So you can order these online. Or you can go to your, I would say, Napa. I'm pretty not sure AutoZone and O'Reilly's are going to have it. But your, uh, maybe your, any kind of bearing store, maybe even a hydraulic store. Yeah, probably. Would have. We live in a these. rural area, so our Napa carries like everything. Yeah. So we don't know if it's all over the country, it'd be the same, but. Yeah. It seems, they seem to carry all that kind of stuff. So check your local bearing store or whatever, or you can order this one on Amazon now that you have the right uh, part number for it. Um, but just the difference is, is the outside diameter to mesh up to the transmission is a bit different. Um, it's bigger, this one's smaller. I'll show you. Oh, it's like can, barely. It's like just barely. You can't even tell yeah, on you can't camera. even tell. But if you slide this one on, I'll slide it, because I've already, I'm not, I don't really have a use for this one. And I've already slid it on before. I'll still, don't. I'll still take care to not break it in case we need it. All right, it's a couple days later. Uh, Joey can't be here. He is out working. Um, I picked up a new seal. I picked up two new seals, actually. Um, just so when the other side goes out. I can place that. Um, I grabbed a different pipe. Well, I grabbed the bell end. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It fits perfectly in there now. So it shouldn't. So uh, instead of pounding on the inside like this one was doing, it'll be pounding on the outside. Hopefully this works because it's kind of the last thing I got. Um, but I think, well, I got Sears. I got the big Sears one on kind of the same way. So, let's give it a whirl, put the seal back on, get it in there nice and straight. Pretty crooked. Should be alright. Still going at an angle. I don't know why it keeps doing that. We grabbed two, so I guess if we mess this one up, we can reset it. I just don't understand why it won't stop going in the wrong way. too far that way. Great. Probably just bent itself up again. Making this seal also useless. Alright, so of course as soon as I turn the camera off I get it. Um, but I ended up taking the seal back out and dremeling out um, the little hole here. I don't think that did much but the seal's kind of bent, so we'll see how long it lasts. Like I said, I got another one. Worst case, I'll just do it again. But I don't want to. I didn't want to potentially break another one. So I, this side was sticking out, so I took a socket and just hit it here, and apparently that's what did it. And now it's going in perfectly straight. So I guess I'll just keep using the pipe and hit it the rest of the way in. Yeah, that's what you don't want is it sliding in there and doing that. The PVC is not the way. It's not the way to go. fun one to get back out if it does ever leak. Let's 
see how tight I got it in there. I don't think it will. It's definitely going to be a bitch to get out. I guess we can find out just by lowering the jack if it's going to leak or not. No, well, looks like it's going to be okay. It's going to be a, definitely a fun one to get out. So, that's how you do that, I guess. Alright, got the sears all done. Got the tire back on. Uh, I actually loaded it back up on the trailer here because I need to take it to my dad's because we got to fill in his sprinkler system trench. Um, it's got her all loaded up. Everything's set up. Um, no more leaks as of yet. She seems to be doing pretty good. No new wet spots or anything. So this is just the old trail it left. But, but anyway, she's, uh, she's good to go. And yeah, I think the next thing we're going to do to this thing is get new tires. Because as you can see, she's running the Maypops. That bulge there. Yeah. She's not looking too good. It's just very, very squishy. So these tires need to go. That's just from like running them low. And that sat this wheel down. It sat for 15 years before we even got it and worked on it. So... These tires are toast. This side's got a little bit of a rubber there, and you can see the cords in there. So, front tires are okay, honestly. Um, I'm not going to worry about the front tires yet. They're doing pretty good. But, uh, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, if you guys liked or disliked it, give it the according thumb button. And uh, if you'd like to follow the channel, see more that subscribe button and uh like i said next video on the sears should hopefully be the tires uh it's probably not gonna be for a while though I'm not really sure or it could be soon depending on how long those tires last so anyway hope you guys have a good one peace